Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare eToro with Binance. The first thing I'm going to compare are fees, then I'm going to compare the coins they are offering and then I'm going to compare, I'll also talk about, about the advantages and disadvantages I see and which I recommend for you to use. Now Binance is completely dominating eToro. Let me explain. When you would come here to the uh, levels they have, the first basic trade fee you got is 0.10 and 0.10%. Then you got 0.09 and 0.10 for maker and taker. And now you can even lower it if you're going to use the BNB deductions for fees, then you would have it even lower to 0.07. Do you see? Like, just remember how low it is. And I just want to say I'm not paid by Binance or eToro to say, oh, use that one or that one. I'm just giving you the truth. And also, if you would use the link down below in the description, you can get even more, than like 5% less fees. So from the Binance perspective, Binance is dominating everyone. Ether, on the other hand, look at the fees. Look at it. They don't have the fees, they have the spread. And let me read it. The spread is the difference between the buy and sell prices of a certain asset. Spreads are a common way in which trading platforms charge fees. So you can see right here, Bitcoin 0.75. Binance 0.10. Then you got Ethereum. 2%, nearly 2% fees. Even Coinbase Pro has only 0.50. This is so this is such a steal. Then you got Bitcoin Cage, Ripple, and all of these are so IOTA 4.5. You are not going to get rich with Bitcoin on Ether. You are going to lose money with crypto on Ether. Let me I, I mean this is the truth, guys. Look at this, 4.5%. I'm making, I, I'm not making this up. And you can see clearly that the maker and taker fee on Binance is like damn good. Another thing that withdrawal fee on eToro, you got $5. On Binance, on SEPA, you got 0.80. I can clearly show it to you when you would come here to wallet and overview. And you come here to withdraw. And now you can see clearly the bank transfer 0.80 yes you can get the bank card but i'd recommend like going with the bank card i recommend going with the bank transfer and that's the most important thing so another thing is that binance offers you much more many more coins comparing to etoro on etoro you got these with ethereum cash ripple you don't have any old coins and it feels like damn okay you don't have too many to buy but on the other hand on binance when you would come here to markets and you can see clearly they have all the old coins that you can buy you can really play around it as much as you want and using binance is the right way to go this, that's it like even when you would like to use etoro let's say that you would use etoro for buying ethereum you would pay a lot of money just for the spread that's the first thing. And let's say that you want to buy altcoins. Then what you need to do is to actually withdraw the money, add it to different, send it to different exchange like Bittrex where you can buy altcoins. And there you can buy altcoins. Another, okay, one disadvantage of Binance. The one disadvantage is that on Binance, uh, the learning curve is higher. And also on Ethereum, you can actually buy and copy uh, trading platforms. You can do it on Ether that you can actually copy traders. So let's say that someone created portfolio. Mm. You can copy their portfolio on crypto and that's pretty good. I mean, I, I really like it. Let me show you. I'll just log into my account. And I can clearly show you how it works. Let me show you. Do, 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 do. Okay, here I am. And now you can go to copy people or invest in crypto portfolios and vaccine met. And here you got crypto portfolio. And now if you want to, let's go to watch list. Bitcoin C. And I can simply buy it and trade. It's more simpler on Ether comparing to Binance. But other than that, I wouldn't personally use uh, Ether for buying. But yes, you can invest in crypto for And one advantage Ether has is that you can actually buy stocks also. So if you want to 
recommend buying I don't even recommend buying stocks for eToro. It's like the it's so damn expensive with the spread they have comparing to trading to 112 and others. So yeah, that's the first thing. And also on Binance, when you come here to market, and let's click trade here. It seems a little bit difficult. You can also leverage here if you want to, and you get also Binance Earn, where you can do the fixed terms, and you would earn annual percentage yield here. So yeah, I mean Binance is much better. And one thing I prepared for you is that if you're starting out, let me paint you something. If you're starting out with investing into crypto, you don't want to, let's say that you have 10k euro or 10k dollars, whatever. And let's say that if you want to buy Ethereum, which is going to be on the 1300, you don't want to put everything just to Ethereum. What you want to do is this. You want to wait until Ethereum goes to 1200 and invest from your budget like, I don't know, 1000 euro then it goes to 1000 and you want to continually invest into like 900 and this is what you want to do if you would put it like let's say that there will be ethereum at 1200 and you would put 10k straight into it you would lose so much money you don't want to do it you really don't want to do it and when you're gonna continually invest into crypto so cryptocurrency that you believe it's going to rise and you believe what they do that's what how you should invest actually then you're gonna win and what i want to explain to you is how i invest and because i have like also investing channel this is as an investing channel where i talk about the way how we can make money is that my recommendation is that when i would have 10k i always put 60 percent to etf etf are the way how we can mm, it's like etfs is a group of a lot of stocks that you can invest on monthly basis that's like, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 stocks in a particular segment, so like technology, then you get also, I don't know, hydrogen, whatever. Then 32% I go on like to eight stocks, I believe, Shopify, Shopify, Square, and things like that. So that's like my group of stocks at 32%. This is like really risky, but I believe in it. And then 8% goes to crypto. You shouldn't put everything to one basket to go, okay, I go crypto all in, I'm going to make, you can do it, but the risk is too high there. So just be wary, if maybe you will make it. I just wish you to be a millionaire, of course, man. Just go for it, be, become a millionaire, but just be careful. Or you don't be careful and be wild. It's completely up to you. It's like, if you lose money, what will happen? Just ask yourself, are you going to be okay if you lose everything? And let's say that you want to invest all your savings into it. If so, go ahead, do it, and maybe you will win. <laughs> but maybe oh, in both instances you will win. You will learn or you will win. But if you learn, you will win too. Maybe you will know the depth of your emotions. How far can you get in your emotions, right? So thank you very much. To summarize this whole video, use Binance. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.